project is? I mean, what is happening? And what do you think has been the success of this show? Has it opened the doors to more shows in this period for television? I mean, well, I think I think it's interesting because I think it's still very relevant to what's going on today. I mean, I think sometimes people are really shocked by the level of violence and, and just some of the things they see. But if you turn on the news, you know, unfortunately, I mean, there are parts of the world where that level of chaos exists. So I think that's definitely relevant to, to what's going on today. But Spartacus to me is just about, you know, fighting for a cause, fighting for something you believe in. And, and I think audiences definitely connect to that, that sense of passion that you see. And, and obviously in the first season it was with Andy Whitfield. And I think the audience just really saw that in his eyes, saw the truth of that. You know, there was the man and there was also the character. And there was a really great line between the two. And Liam has just sort of seamlessly stepped in and, and brings that same earnestness and truthfulness to, to that fight. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great show. And obviously it's um, sort of spawned a lot of... Um, it just shows that can have that heightened sense of drama. I mean, you have things like Game of Thrones on the air, and it's a different sort of story, but obviously the audience wants sort of like big, big dramatic stuff on, on TV, so that's great. How satisfying was it to kill Asher? <laughs> I mean, he'd been your tormentor. Clearly he was asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that was like a sort of monumental scene, right? It, it was it was huge, and the thing is, I remember getting the script. I had no idea. I mean, there was a lot of stuff I didn't know coming in. And, and you know, I had said to someone earlier that when I first got the audition, the line literally just said, slave girl. I knew I was replacing another actress, and it was a character that already existed, but as far as I knew, I was just going to sort of be a slave girl, whatever that meant. <laughs> um, and so to step in and suddenly have this full arc of a story and have it end the way it ended, I mean, I remember getting the script, and my jaw was on the floor. I was like, I'm doing what? Like, <laughs> where am I going to find that? And that's been the interesting thing just to... You know, I've had to dig deeper than I've ever had to dig to, to play this character because it's stuff that in my life I can't can't relate to chopping a guy's head off with a sword. So you have to, <laughs> you have to no uh, unless I'm like in the DMV it. or something. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you have to sort of find that uh, somewhere in yourself. But at the end of the day, I mean, that took us several days to shoot that one scene. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, it's always tough if you're sort of an actor that's just standing and watching a scene like that because he's literally for days on end just have to watch it. It's not that exciting <laughs> over over the course of a week. But I just felt the energy of everybody rooting for me genuinely, my, my fellow actors, and it was, you know, me like getting all knocked on the ground and we're standing on this mountaintop set with fans blowing and it was just so sort of over the top for what it was. But when I saw the finished result, it was sort of like, wow, I didn't I didn't actually know I could do that. So it was like, you know, I felt I was feeling pretty good. So do you think <laughs> that moment will it will change Navia the War of the Damned? I mean, will she be a different character after having done that? I would say that that's definitely one thing going into the new season that you'll, you'll see. I mean, Navia has definitely evolved and changed. Um, you know, some of the demons she was battling in Vengeance, they haven't necessarily gone away. I mean, the stuff that she went through, um, you know, once she was rediscovered, she essentially was left for dead. She went through things that probably would have killed uh, a weaker individual. So I, that's how I always sort of look at it is what is the difference between somebody who survives the odds and someone who doesn't? Some people are just sort of made of that stronger stuff. So I always thought maybe is just a survivor. And, um, you know, she she definitely is, is in the mix in terms of this sort of new battle mode that, that all the characters are in. I mean, we're now in full scale war. It's from skirmish to war, and the scale of it is just enormous. So, sort of like all hands on deck, men, women, get your battle gear on. And, 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 and what kind of training? I mean, you know, the Navy in the past wasn't a warrior, so did you do like the same training as the guys did? I did the same training the guys did. <laughs> wow. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we have a we do a boot camp that's a solid month before we even start filming. So it's like four to five hours of training every day. I have never in my life 
done exercise on the sofa <laughs> And even though, you know, I might have been using a, a lighter weight, I did all of the exercises that the guys were doing. And it was myself, Ellen Holman, Lay Saxa, and Jenna Lynn, who's one of uh, the new actresses on the show. We're the only women there with all these guys. Um, but, you know, it was just a great sort of team building exercise in a way. Uh, you know, we all suffered together. And so we were all really set to go once we started filming. But uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that I think my sword skills have, have picked up and they will be on display. And I think that's why female audience love the show too because they see the well. strength of you and it's not just Liam's apps that draw yes. them in. <laughs> that's one aspect of it. Um, many people would trade places with me for the day, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I, I am excited about the fact that there aren't many characters like Navia on television right now. I mean, that to me, you know, again, it, it sort of shifted and evolved, and, and it's really exciting because I think before this job, I don't think anybody would have picked me as a warrior. I do not give, that, give off that vibe in my daily life. Um, and it's been a great challenge, you know, it's like things you maybe dreamed of even as a kid, you know, spinning around your living room with a superhero, and then there you are years later with a sword in hand. So it's been, you know, something that I'm glad the audience is responding to, and I think they're going to like this version of maybe ever. So the after fight, um, we talked about the physicality of it and that challenge of the physicality, but there was also a lot of emotional stuff in there, and I was wondering how is it is it like what's the how is the challenge? What's is the difficulty of being able to do both at the same time? Because it seems like it would be hard to like you know remember your Absolutely. sword it swings at the same time as you know. Or, it becomes a controlled chaos type of thing because it's true your emotions are running high that you're supposed to sort of hit these marks. And there's a, a danger element on set. I mean, you know, we, we do have sharp objects in hand and adrenaline's pumping and you go in. I'm normally like saying a little prayer before I charge into a group of men with sharp objects and, you know, big boots. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, we had rehearsed it and we've gone through the steps, but again, this, this character sort of finding that really dark place uh, I had to sort of approach that moment as, as an actor, as just as Cynthia, and as that character. But it was pretty, it's pretty cathartic. I mean, you know, everybody should get the chance to grab a sword and just swing for the fences. And, and you know, ultimately it wound up being like a dummy head for parts of it. But um, getting to work with Nick Tarabay, who I have tremendous respect for. I mean, Asher was one of my favorite characters. And our paths didn't really cross until the end, so we didn't really get to work together until that moment. But he's very focused, I'm very focused, and we knew how massive that scene was. So I think we all approached him with like that, just we want to get this right. Yeah. So it was great. Great. Well, how much of a fight do you work I mean, you work with before about the issue. None. <laughs> no fight experience. Like this is this is brand new for me. But I I don't. Somehow I've sort of taken a warming to it. Now I actually really enjoy it. And again, like to get to be one of the few women that gets in there with the guys, you know, standing around. You know, it's it's pretty badass. So I'm I'm enjoying it a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much.